So in my opinion guys, Governor Kawira Mwangaza is the equivalent of a cat with nine lives. I say this because the very first time she got impeached, that impeachment didn't even get to the Senate. She defeated it in the High Court. Now the second impeachment, which is what many consider to be the first one, so let's just call it the first one so that we are at par, it went to the Senate, they declared her innocent. The second impeachment also went to the Senate, they declared her innocent. The third impeachment has gone to the Senate, they found her guilty, and right after she's gone to the High Court, and the High Court has declared the findings of the Senate null and void, and it has even issued a ruling against the Speaker of the Senate. Now, in this video, I want us to look into the contents of that ruling and also why I believe Kawira shouldn't be celebrating this early. There's quite, quite a lot uh, down the road. But either way, let's look at the ruling, shall we? And I quote, It's a ruling from Honorable Bahati Mwamuye. Onto the body, I have read the certificate of urgency dated 21st August, the notice of motion application dated 21st August, and the supporting affidavit dated 21st of August, deponed by Honorable Kawira Mwangaza, all of which were filed alongside a petition dated 21st of August. Now, here's what the judge orders. Number one, that the application is hereby certified as urgent and shall be heard on a priority basis. Number two, pending the inter parties hearing and determination of the application, a conservatory order be and is hereby issued staying the furtherance of the implementation of the resolution of the Senate, removing the governor of Meru County, Honorable Kawira Mwangaza, from office by way of impeachment. So this means that whatever findings they made will have zero ramifications. She will not go home and the deputy governor will not ascend to the governor position. So nothing changes in Meru County as per these orders. And number three, pending the inter parties hearing and determination of the application dated 21st of August, a conservatory order be and is hereby issued restraining the Speaker of the Senate or any other person of or authority from publishing or causing to be published in the Kenya Gazette a notification or declaration of a vacancy in the office of the governor of Meru County. So basically, you know, once the Senate impeaches somebody, or any time the government does anything, in fact, it has to be gazetted at the Kenya Gazette. Which is why, even when Ukuri Atani used to give tax breaks to banks belonging to the Kenyatas, it was in public domain, it had to go through the Kenya Gazette. So even this impeachment has to be gazetted, and the gazettement of the impeachment has been barred by the High Court. So even if they do it, it's null and void. So the Speaker has been blocked from moving forward, the deputy governor has been blocked from ascending to the role of governor. Kawira Mwangaza continues to serve. That is what this ruling means. Now, moving forward, my belief is that the governor isn't too safe. There's a lot of drastic things she must do if she's to survive. What those things are at this point, even I don't know. Because when I listened to the majority leader, Senator Aaron Cheriot, he spoke and said that they can't listen to the same case three times. And that is why they decided Kufa Makanga, Kufa Dereva. His own words, not mine. Here's the tip. Asa wacha isonge pele. Najo kiletewa kesi mara ya kwanza, uamue, ya pili, ya tatu unaosha mkono na unasema bas. Kufa Dereva, Kufa Makanga, wacha mpele yamue. Asa, even ndiyo jana sisi pia tuliamua. Tulisema wacha wajaribu bati. Wasikie wengine mpele. So clearly, the Senate, they are tired of listening to this case of Kawira Mwangaza. But on the other side, the MCAs of Meru County are not tired of impeaching this governor. They will impeach her again, especially now that they've seen results. They've been impeaching her without results. They lost in the High Court, they lost in the Senate the first time, they lost in the Senate the second time, they still impeached her the third time in the Senate, and they finally got a good ruling. So that ruling, much as it was overturned at the High Court, has emboldened them to re-impeach her again. So expect Governor Kawira Mwangaza at the Senate any time from now. In fact, by end of September, we should be having another impeachment motion tabled in Meru County. That is something I can just foresee. So it's up to her to play politics, see how she can win over the senators or how she can dissuade the MCAs, maybe call the president to intervene himself. I don't know what she'll do. But if she takes this lightly and considers it a win, we will be back here again. And we know we will be back here again because it's the third time. It's the third time. So at the end of the day, she survives a little bit longer, but expect another impeachment motion. This, this is the kind of conundrum we're in. I really hope, or rather let me say, I really hoped that Meru County would have been disbanded. Everybody goes back to elections. But it's impossible. We don't have an IBC commission. Someone somewhere is playing politics. They don't want to appoint them because an IBC commissioner serves for six years. So if they're appointed in January of 2027, 
they will oversee two elections and that's what somebody somewhere wants to do or a group of people so that they micromanage the election of 2027 and the handover election of who is to take over in 2032 will also be orchestrated the same way Uru delayed the appointment of Chebukati so that he could oversee two elections. It's just that he didn't foresee that Chebukati would not be uh, backing his poster boy Raila Odinga. But either way, Kawira continues to serve for a little longer, but the MCAs will be emboldened by the win in the Senate. We'll be back here analyzing the same things again and again. It's very sad, but that's just my opinion. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. In the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula. Hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.